In the last episode, the wheel landed on Seracnus and Calphite Queen, and after 10,000 votes, KQ ended up winning. The drop rate for this pet is 1 in 3,000. But welcome back to Pet Roulette. For this series, I put almost every pet in the game on a randomly generated wheel, and I spin it two times every two weeks. This is where you all come in. If you're watching this video, you get to decide which pet I go for next, and maybe I'll get lucky. This is going to be my setup for KQ, though I do plan on making some big changes later on and getting a really big upgrade for my account, but I gotta make some more money on the side first before that happens. But for now, I'll be doing a melee range switch with the Karis Partisan of Breaching. Karis Partisan is a weapon that gives 33% bonus damage against all cow fights and scarabites, which of course works for the cow fight queen. And also has a nice passive effect that has a 1 in 51 chance to deal triple damage. So let's say I hit a 50 and the triple damage activates. I then hit a 150. Doesn't happen often, but it's nice when it does. Once you add the Breaching Jewel from TOA to it, that also gives us a 33% accuracy bonus against cow fights as well. I then switch to my range setup with the blowpipe. Only Amethyst arrows, no dragon arrows, because um, I'm broken. I'm trying to afford something else later on in the video. And as always, here is my collection log. Starting at 1,637 KC, missing the pet and the jar of sand. So hopefully we can at least get one or both of those and green log this so we never have to you know come back here again i don't you know i like the kq boss like or at least i like the pet but uh the boss can be annoying now that we're coming i mean we don't have a lot of kc anyway i guess in the grand scheme of things of pet hunting but at least now uh you know with the dragon pickaxes maybe we can make some money all right first kill of the whole episode what do we get palm tree seeds and cerebrus yeah well one cerebru oh well we'll see how this goes as we continue what someone's here i leave man see that's the one thing i wish about kq i wish there was like i, w I wish there was a um instance for kq or like every boss out there uh-oh i'm gonna have to hop worlds again man oh wait are they at iron though i think iron wait there's two there's two people here yeah i'm gonna have to hop worlds why is kq busy or right, i'm going to the very super bad 2.2k world Surely no one uh, bosses on an Australian world. I don't really like bossing here either, but usually the, the Aussie worlds have like no people in it. So I'll just like, I'll, I'll bite the bullet and go here just so I can save time from hopping worlds to hopefully just not hop at all. Okay, oh, see, what? People's even, there's people in the Aussie worlds too? What the hell is this? Why, why is, K, look, no one likes KQ. Well, I guess maybe they're back here because uh, they added the dragon pickaxe. Maybe that's why. But the dragon pickaxe is like, it's crashed in price. So I didn't think, I don't know. I didn't think there'd be this many people. Like, I guess I get irons coming here. So they don't, like irons and hardcore iron mans. Or honestly, like any iron coming here, you know, specifically for the dragon pickaxe. And that's it. Like D-picks were like 8 mil. Now they're like, what, 3 mil? Barely. Ooh, clue scroll elite. All right, we got to take a break from KQ to do an elite clue. There's the casket. Nice. Hmm. I don't want to die today. <laughs> you KQ. Piece of sh Watch someone kills KQ. I just left it there in like zero HP. I'm, I'm just running there and the pet just appears behind me. That would honestly be pretty cool. Using Vinge too, but Thrall sometimes I think is better. Yeah, Thrall's is nice for the consistent damage as well. Like, it's more consistent than, I guess, the, the Vinge is. Because you just, you just don't know what the, uh, you know, what the monster's gonna hit on you or whatever. It can hit, like, a 30 and you do a good Vinge back, or it can hit a fucking 1 and, you know, hit a 1 back. But Thrall's is, uh, consistent. I've done both methods here, though. The only difference between using Thrall's... And using Vinge here is that as a streamer, whichever one you do, everyone's always going to ask you why you're not doing the other one. And then when you switch, everyone's always going to ask you why, why you aren't doing the other one. And then you just, you just can't win. KQ head. Why can't... What? Just give me... Give, give me the jar at least. I don't want the KQ head. Add that to the collection in the bank. I literally just keep all the Vorkath heads, KQ heads in the bank just for fun. Oh shit, yo! What's up, Gris? Pet here, let's see it. On the sub? Oh my god, I thought I actually just got the pet right there, Gris. You just freaked me the fuck out. 
<laughs> I actually thought I actually thought I actually got something there. Like I, the pet, I mean. That's sick. Yo, jar of sand though. Now I just need the pet to green log this. The Sarah brew looks a little bit different. Now I can yeah, now I can green log it in peace. That's very true. Cause when I actually get the pet, yeah, green log, hell yeah. Oh, 1700 KC, no pet. Wouldn't mind completing this before, you know, I get to the drop rate of 1 in 3,000 for the pet. That'd be that'd be nice. That'd be ideal. By the way, for anyone wondering, I did switch to full Torva instead of the Inquisitor, mainly because I sold my Inquisitor, and uh, you'll see why a little bit later. Oh, someone's in here. I just saw them go in. Sad. Another dragon chain body? What the hell? That's number two today. Can I trade this in for the pet, please? I'll trade that in for the pet. How many how many dragon chain bodies have I seen? Calfi Queen, that's uh, number 15. Too bad those aren't worth like 50 mil or whatever they were way back when. I will also take an elite clue. That's, uh, that's fine as well. I'm gonna go do this elite clue, come back, and we're gonna have to hop worlds probably. Oh, I was wondering when I was going to get this step. I've not gotten this elite step, like, ever before. My old nemesis, I swear. Oh, uh, maybe I should... Oh, yeah, I needed to... I uh, forgot. That doesn't work here. Not fully, at least. Dupe pet incoming, I swear to God. That'd be funny, but, man... All right, we're good. No, uh, no dupe pet. I was about to say, is this the right chest? I was like, wait, it's not doing nothing. And there's this, uh, casket. That's elite casket number 32 for me. Slowly, slowly growing that. KQ head. I already have that game. Eighteen hundred KC. Ho you know, hopefully within the next two hundred kills by two thousand. I've seen people get duplicate pets under like a hundred KC, so surely that's not impossible. Surely the game will like me that much. Nothing again, monkfish. First kill of the day, starting at 1823 KC with a clue scroll. All right, that's fine. You know, it works for me. Always take clues. Elite clue and a shark. How large is the elite stack? I think this one makes 33. Uh, yep, 33. We're getting there. <laughs> Slow, slowly but surely. Our first kill of the day at KQ was an elite clue, so uh, let's keep that luck up. Can't wait till I grind out chambers and go dry for, well, everything there. Yo, can I actually get this kill, please? Holy shit. It's one of those kills again. I'm dead. Yep, I knew it. I shouldn't have risked it. All right, KQ, chill. I'm still looting. Calm down, calm down, calm down. I'm coming. All right, I'm coming. Come on. Chill. My ring of, re my, my ring of suffering is going to kill it. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Let me pick up my stuff in peace, please. All for weapon poison, said. Oh, that still cost me 500k, rip. I better get that dragon pickaxe drop tonight. Oh shit, blood, you just blood just got the squirrel pet. I told you, blood. You're welcome. I told you. You're welcome, blood. He got the squirrel pet cuz I told him to go uh, finish the collection log at Apatol course. You're welcome. Nineteen hundred KC. Oh, someone just got Ranger boots in the CC as well. Congrats to them. Ooh, elite clue. Fuck yeah. First elite clue of the day. We're gonna we're gonna take a break from KQ for a moment to go do this elite clue. Alright, elite clue's asking me to run one ape atoll course and uh maybe we'll get the pet at the end. Surely we'll be lucky.
Ah, oh, never lucky. I mean, we only have two laps. Only 1,998 to finish that collection log. Elite casket, though. Wow, my vicious blow was a, a two? That's just, that's just rude. Oh my god, I actually got a dragon pickaxe from KQ? Oh my god, <laughs> money! <laughs> I will take the money. They do exist. Interesting. KQ does in fact drop a dragon pickaxe. Ooh, KQ head. I don't know how many I've gotten. I don't know, it's like in the teens or something like that. It's probably like my 12th, 13th one or whatever. And 2,000 KC rewarded with nothing. That was a long ass kill. Two minutes? Jesus, that was pretty bad. 2,000 KC though. At least we saw, you know, a dragon pickaxe. Hold up. That's uh, number 13 overall. Obviously, most of those came from the wilderness. But no pet. At least we got the jar. That'll green log it. That's the, that's, that's the hope, at least. Get that soon, and then I'll be done here forever. All right, I finally did it. I had to sell my full Inquisitor, my Scythe, my Ellie Shield, and a couple little small things, but I finally got my very own Tumekin's Shadow. And I've got a very nice 69% magic damage bonus, so that's pretty in uh, interesting, I suppose. But um, let's see how this is. I'm only going to be doing a mage-only KQ run because I'm curious to see how good this thing actually is here. Uh, I like the idea of not doing any switches and just, you know, sticking to one. So uh, I guess we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. I probably should be doing the method where I, like, stand under and then step back out again just to minimize some of the, the damage from KQ. But I'm kind of curious to see if I just stand here. I mean, it's hitting pretty accurately. Not even with the, the Karis Partisan thing was I, I was hitting, you know, this accurate, I suppose. And this is only the first time doing it. Ooh, big XP drop. Oh, okay, another 60. Oh, straight into a 55. Yeah, I think I'm going to like this uh, this Tumekin Shadow. Probably never going to sell it, even though I sold uh, quite a bit of things. But I'll just make all that m uh, money back to get those items back in the future. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to like this method. No switches. Uh, I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage, uh, but I'm going to start doing the step under and step out kind of thing to hopefully minimize that. But uh, yeah, good purchase. Never going to sell this thing ever again. Twenty one hundred KC, another little milestone. Nine hundred more kills until we are exactly at the drop rate for this pet, which is one in three thousand. Collection log still looking the same. Would be nice to get this pet green log before three thousand. Uh, I like the boss, especially now that the shadow makes it a little bit more fun. But uh, let me get the pet, please. Another KQ head. Well, then just add that to the collection in the bank. I'm always going to keep these things. Ooh, hell yeah. Elite Clue. Time for a little bit of a break. And uh, I think this will make like 34 or something like that. There's the casket. Okay, makes 35. Not bad at all. Diamonds and a Sarah Brew for KC2200. 800 more kills to go until the, the drop race, so hopefully we can get it before then, please. And the only thing I'm happy about right now is that I actually managed to get the jar before the pet. Now it's like an official pet hunt. Then, uh, you know, in the future, if I were to get the, the pet first and the, I have to hunt the, uh, hunt the jar, if I want to green log it, I'd rather it be a pet hunt than a, a jar hunt. And thank you for the pet right here, game. Darn, magic seeds. Never seen all task shadow. Yeah, I, I'm like the kind of person that hates hunting tasks for bosses because I've 
gone through thousands of points before or hunting for a specific task for like hours or days on end. And then all that time, it's like I could have just killed the boss. And with best and slide gear, you basically kill it in the same amount of time. So I'm like, instead of wasting all the Slayer points and all the hours or days hunting a specific task, just go kill the boss. Even if it's like one or two kills, you know, less per hour, as long as I'm actually working on, you know, progressing on KC instead of, you know, doing something else, trying to, trying to get a Slayer task just to make it 15% better. The only task that I'll probably hunt for for pets would be Jad and Zuck since those actually affect the drop rates for, uh, for the pets. But that's about it. I wouldn't be surprised if I, I mean, I've got to go dry in multiple places. Like I've been dry for KBD so far. I've been dry for, or I'm currently dry for Seractus and Vorkath. I think that's it for the most part. So there's got to be like at least 10 more uh, pets that I go dry for. I'm sure one of them is going to be a God Wars dungeon boss. Twenty-two, twenty-two KC, no pet. Absolutely scammed right there. By the way, here are the wheel spins for the next pet roulette. Phantom, Muspa, and Bandos. Drop rates are on screen and my collection logs for both now. And if you'd like to vote, the link to the poll on my community page here on YouTube is in the description below and pinned in the comments. KQ head, another one. Max KQ KC, no pit. Twenty three hundred KC, no pit. Absolutely scanned. We could do probably one more kill this trip, and if I get the pet at twenty three oh one, it'll stay there forever. Cause I'll, I refuse to do more KQ. If only it ended on a nice even number. A dragon chain body, the third one, man. Ooh. What the hell? I just got a back to back dragon chain body. There's no way. <laughs> Why couldn't that just give me the pet? <laughs> I got two dragon chain bodies in my inventory. It's not going to hit a 26. Man, I died. I'm coming back for this kill. Little drive-by click on KQ. This better be worth it for, you know, dying for this. 300k I lost from there. All for a couple magic seeds. I mean, that's like, out of all the drops, that's not bad, I guess. Also, that was KC number 2345. That would have been a cool number to end off on, but nope. KQ clearly hates me. The grind shall continue. By the way, I've only had my shadow staff for just a few days or so, and I've already gone through about 6,000 charges. So I can already tell that, you know, one, obviously the shadow is really good, but I can already tell I'm going to be losing a lot of money on this thing. Luckily, over the years, I have kept all of my chaos and soul runes. I do have quite a bit of them. But, you know, judging by the last few days, I'm probably going to go through all of these in probably about a month, maybe less. But th th it's so good. I'm just never going to sell this thing and I'm going to use it everywhere. Currently at 2369 KC at KQ. My collection log is kind of starting to fill up, but it uh, would be nice to add that pet. Oh, okay. Calm down, KQ. Chill. All right. Okay, KQ. You know what? It's fine. Just gotta push through the pain. It, it, it'll be fine. It's fine. I'll get the pet eventually, then I'll never have to worry about it again. It's fine. Alright. Oh, rest in peace, Torstal Seed. Two of them for 18.5k. 9k? That's so sad. Darn. Everything's just ruining Torstal prices. Twenty-three ninety-nine KC. Just one more, please, game. I want this pet. Looks cool. Please don't. Please don't make me kill this boss anymore.
2400 KC. There it is. Another 100 KC milestone. 600 more until we're actually at the drop rate. I complain a lot about KQ, which is fair and justified because KQ, not the most fun boss to kill. But I will say, getting the Shadow Staff, I think I said it a little bit early, but the Shadow Staff makes killing the KQ a little bit more fun. More kills per hour, more kills per trip. But the next time I'm here, I promise you, KQ, I'm getting that pet before I hit 3,000 KC, and I'm going to put you in my POH. Like and subscribe.